Get him. Get him. Get A lot of you are used to seeing a saltwater fish. Whether it's jetty fishing for monsters or doing some inshore fishing for keeper fish like speckled trout, flounder, or red. But for this trip, we decided to get out of our comfort zone to chase after a fish we had never caught before. A true living dinosaur. Yeah. To catch this dinosaur, we're going to need some bait. And if we want the best and freshest bait, we have to catch it ourselves. Probably stop right here. Um, so I've cut big old grass carp. I don't want to take a grass carp. So what do you use, the common? Yeah, we always use commons. Commons are the best ones. All right, yeah, so we are trying to cast in some bait right now because we're gonna do some fishing tomorrow and we need to make sure we have bait. We don't wanna wait till the last second to try and figure out what we're gonna use for bait. I cannot catch any bait. Like I see them and they just swim off and I'm all muddy, check that out. Uh, I have to catch one, there's no way I go out like this. There's just no way. There's one right here. That's a baby grass, we'll take him. He's small enough. What is it? A grass? Yeah, it's a baby grass. It works. All right, so we just caught this grass carp. It's a small one. I'm gonna be using this guy as bait. We want the common carp. I still don't know what the difference is. It's my first time fishing for these, but uh, we're gonna keep at it. Hopefully we catch them. Nope. We're gonna go ahead and chunk this guy in the bucket. We need at least two more. We caught the right one. Dude, it has some crazy colors, bro. You saw him, right? I saw, you I saw him go that way. Yeah, yeah. Dude, good stuff. That's perfect. Let's go, dude. It's a little bit bigger size, but that's perfect. Yeah, I don't want him any bigger than that. And <laughs> that little, little stream. Yeah. yeah. So, Jeezy just caught this awesome common carp. It's perfect size for Algidigar. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna keep this guy as fresh as possible. So we're gonna throw him in the bucket and then keep him on ice for tomorrow. So yeah, perfect alligator guard bait. A couple more of these and we'll be good to go for tomorrow. Good stuff, man. All right, it's literally first cast with the new cast in it. There we and are. It's, it's the right one too. Yep, that's what we want. That's the best bait you can get. We just need like one more, right? Yeah, we need one more and we're good to go. After cast netting for a while, we were only able to catch one more common carp and a huge mullet. We figured it was enough bait for us to fish with, so we decided to wrap it up and rest for the next day. Kevin. GG. Or GG. <laughs> Is there any bull rays in here or not? Nah? Hello everybody, welcome back to another GG Anglers video. And you saw me and Dad, we were catching a lot of bait yesterday. Yes sir, yes sir. And a lot means four. We're gonna wait for this plane to pass by. We got some carp, mullet. Which one should we start off with? The mullet's uh, probably the best bit though. Yeah, let's start with the mullet. 
We're gonna start with the mullet. He's gonna try to put us on some guard today. I'm pretty sure some of y'all follow him. He catches some giants. So that's what we're after today. We're here with Chris, off day, and James. Yep. He's gonna be out here also helping us out. He's trying to catch some bait as well, just to have extra, because it's always better to have more. But that is a giant mullet we caught yesterday. So we're just gonna rig up this bait here. I always like cutting off the tail. So this is a Bayou mullet. Apparently mullet's one of the best baits. We're just gonna chuck that out there. Here we go. Chunks about this big. I like cutting off the fins so it doesn't interfere with the hookups. Just like that. Cut off this guy too. That right there, you guys. All these baits right here. Let's go our candy. So we're gonna get these baits out. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do next. Y'all look how beautiful it is out here. I mean, there's stuff blowing up crazy over there. Seen a couple gar pop up already. It's pretty cool. All right, so Dad is gonna show us how he rigs him up. So and I, we're gonna use this mullet right here. This is a big mullet. We got some rigging floss right there, little needle. We're gonna come through the bottom just like that. Come through. Don't lose the needle. We're gonna get a hook right here. We use we're using a small one knot gorilla bait hook, live bait hook. So we're just gonna come through just like that. Make a couple twists. Go this way. And we're gonna go the opposite way, come through. We're gonna do it one more time for good luck. And that's our bait. So Kevin's gonna cast this guy out. That's it. Was that fine? That's good, perfect. There's the bobber right over there. Just gotta wait for a guard to pick it up now. Sweet. The waiting game. How do you feel? First bait out. First time, like. Yeah, there, there's a lot of like guard popping up, but. Something new, something different. Something very new. I know a lot of people have been asking us to guard fish, so here we are. Yo, where's your flow? It's over there. So the float, it's not really, the bait is not really floating, it's at the bottom, but the float is just there to tell you that something picked it up. Let's go. He's, he's going again. Here, this is this is it. Set right now. Hold on, remember I told you? Hold your feet there. Set. Remember, come this way, actually. Come over here, over that log. Yeah, he's gone now. Here's your fish. Remember, put the, uh, close the bail, put your rocket down, and set. Let him go straight. He's about to go. There you go, set again. Set again. Oh, oh. put him out of his mouth. You're good. You felt him though, right? Yeah, that was, really that was it was heavy. Yeah. That's okay. We'll get another one. Damn. We took the bait, <laughs> so we gotta get another one. You felt him? Yeah. <laughs> I, I felt him. You probably pulled the bait right out of his mouth. I need to get used to setting the hook. Like, I'm not used to this. So I'm gonna show you how they, you know it's a good fish. Squeeze your thumb right here. Squeeze? Yeah. Uh -huh. You feel it? Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Oh. I'm gonna set the drive through. Yep. All right. So, you felt it? That's yeah. a heavy fish. If this is like a five. Oh. Shit. Open, open the bill. Open the bill. Pull out some line and throw it. Yeah. There you go. Go, go. There you go. Ooh. He's on. He's on. He's gone. Ah, oh, nah, I think he came off. He dropped it. Damn. Ooh, that feels heavy. Yeah, oh, it is. You're close. You had he had the hook set. <laughs> yep. He whooped you. Yeah, I know. He said. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> pulled me to the front, man. Damn. Nice fix, bro. That was crazy. I know. I pulled you back. I mean, I pulled you. I felt like I was snagged, but I wasn't. The snag started moving. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. Come on, get. Ready. The dragon set good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. 
Give me like 20. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, I yeah, just I came up. Know. Again. There ain't nothing to do about that. All right, so we just lost that one. I thought it was ready to set, but I said it's too early. But at least we're getting runs like every 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put another bait on and cast it out. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Ooh. Oh my God. Yo. The rod just exploded, dude. <laughs> no shot, bro. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even think he's on. No way. Probably got like a, like a six plus. Rod just gave out, dude. Yeah. Oh my God. So Chris went to set the hook and it was an absolute giant and the rod just snapped. That's insane. How did that happen? Crazy. How, how did that fish feel though? That was huge. That was a big fish. Chris is speechless right now. All right, y'all, so we are getting our run right now. Look at that. And uh, me and Chris, Chris lost two and I think I lost three. So we're just gonna let the man himself, that van, go ahead and set the hook on this one. Cause we are, we're having a pretty slow day, tough day. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for He's still on there, he's still on there. He's still on there, dude. It's like, it's like probably Here, four step over it. I'm oh, sorry. No, you're good. All right, let's get closer, Kevin. It's like impossible to reel, dude. This is ridiculous, dude. So our day was not going as planned. Me and Chris both lost two fish and we were all bummed out over the broken rods. The bite also completely slowed down. We didn't get any more runs on the last setup we had. I cannot lie, it was horrible. But to make things worse, a huge storm was approaching us that we had no idea was coming our way. We quickly packed everything up and ran to the car before the rain caught us. Yo, huge cloud of rain. We just checked the radar and we're about to get poured on. And we have to climb up this cliff. And it's just like sand and dirt and it's gonna turn into mud and we're not gonna be able to get out. So we need to hurry up, carry all this stuff. We're just gonna have to come back another day. Oh my God, look at the trees. Yo, we are running up. I hear it behind us, bro. <laughs> we gotta get up this thing first. <laughs> I got this whole canopy on my shoulder. Bro, I got four broken rods. <laughs> they left me. Thank 
contact. Careful right there, man. Yeah, huge ant pile. I fell. Oh. <laughs> we made it. Two mile walk down. I see a lot of movement in the water. It is day two. It's been a struggle trying to get bait yesterday. I didn't even record because it was just, it was horrible. We went to try and catch bait in the morning. And then I went back like at 8.30 PM yesterday. And I just had to leave early. I don't think I even told Van, but I stepped on a giant snake and it wrapped around my foot. It was horrible. Yeah. So I left early, but we do have a couple carp and some tilapias that we're gonna use. A lot of movement. Yeah, we're gonna get set up so we can start fishing. All right, for this trip, we brought out the Avid with the custom rod. We got our setup right here. Uh, our leader stuff for Gar hasn't came in yet, so we gotta improvise. I'm using a 100 pound mono with a, I think there's a size six aught circle hook. And uh, of course the float, so you see when you get a bite. About to cast it out straight in the middle. Seems like there's a lot of snags, but there is a lot of gar action right now. I mean, they're popping up on top. So we're going to put a bait on the hook. Caught some tilapia yesterday. I'm going to try to use that. And uh, hopefully catch a 9 foot or a 10 foot. I don't know what Chris is trying to aim for today. At least an 8. <laughs> what about Van Logan? Hey, Van Logan, it, Van's always wanted to catch a gar. That's like been his dream. We were at the jetties and he always wanted a gar instead of a jack. <laughs> so today's the day we got that van helping us out okay, well, day two big one yep so let's put that tilapia on the hook we're gonna send out this huge bay right here huge tilapia head we, we caught a couple hours ago that was all right that's perfect Set it perfect. Big one, big one, big one. I got a real good one. First run. <laughs> That's a good one. one, bro. Let me know when I can start walking down. God, it's taking long. Follow it, follow it. Come this way, come this way. Still pulling, bro? Yeah. Go, go. Set it again, set it again. Set it again, set it again. There you go. Oh, I'm slipping. You saw him? He dropped nah. it, he dropped it. He dropped it. Damn, I slipped. Yeah, you slipped. Oh, uh, now we know they'll hit that flop. Yeah, I didn't think they were going to hit it. Alright, y'all, but at least we know they're biting and they're here. That one felt like a it didn't feel as big as like the one uh, I set the hook on last time, but I don't know. That's how you always gotta wear your corkers. I'm not the same. I'll tell you one. You set it hard as you can. It's about to go tight. Get in position. Hard, be ready. Hard, be. Jank it hard Three, back, real. Two. One, you feel it tight when it gets yeah. super tight. Get him, get him. Oh, no, you open the bell, you open the bell. Real, 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 fast, 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 fast. Get him, sit, get him. Sit, sit. Harder, put it, put it. Another one, another one. There you go, come there on, another go. one. He's on, he's on. Come on, go, go, go. Don't give it there slack, don't, don't give it slack, don't give it slack. Come on, pull, pull, give it. There we go, he's on. Keep him up, keep brushing him. So he's, there's a giant snag right there. Keep the rod up. Keep the rod up, keep the rod up. Come on, man. Follow him down the bank, follow him down the bank. bank. Slippery y'all. He's gonna break the line, yeah. Loose, 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 loose. There we go, let's get there. Okay. Keep the right above, you're gonna lose him if you put it down. Oh, the small guy. Van Logan's first guard. How you feel, man? Not even that big in the fights. 
fight like crazy. Such a cool fish, man. Look at him. Congrats. Congrats on your first one. First calf, I think. That was the first run on that. Uh, oh, I think I'm getting a run. Oh, oh. Careful, careful. I got it. Oh, oh. Get it, get it, get it. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. Oh, I got a good idea. Follow it, follow it. Keep that one. So down right. That's good fish. Really good fish. Good right stuff. <laughs> Alright, so the snags like you see that that opening? Yeah. The snags are there, so you gotta step forward to so up to you. I guess I'm only gonna hold me back. Get up, get him, get him, get him. He's on there? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, this one feels good. Yeah, this one feels good. Bend on that rod. Keep it tight, always tight. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's a big oh, one, five footer. Oh, five footer, watch out. I loosened it up like you said. Yeah. And we got our bait back. <laughs> that was huge. I didn't see the fish, but that weight did. God. Keep on him like normal. Don't lose him. Keep on him. Keep on Good fish. <laughs> Keep walking with it, keep walking with it. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Don't put that at all. Perfect hook set, by the way. Let's go. Wow, that thing is huge. I'm wet. I'm already. I'm getting in now at this point. Keep going. And we're gonna get this one. That's why I said back off the drag when it gets close. Five five. Ooh. Show the catch, show the solid fish. Five five. 
Mas para arriba, mas para arriba. Perfect hooks there, man. Yeah, Perfect it just knees. came out. <sighs> Can't believe it. Their head is super hard. This is an old fish. Like, how old do you think it is? That one's probably like 15. 15 years old. 15. Oof. Quinceañera? <sighs> All right, y'all. My first huge alligator gar. Such a cool fish. Huge shout out to Dad for helping us out. Man, it's just, I'm speechless right now. I don't, I got boo red. These guys are dinosaurs. They live through almost anything, so. We're gonna go ahead and release this guy so he could keep leaving. It's gone. We did. Yes. So happy for you, man. Congrats. Yo. We have another run. Yeah. It's been on fire today. Chris is gonna go ahead and set the hook on this one. Get him. Get him, like, ah. Uh, get him. There, there you go. go. Keep it up. Keep it up. We'll need to follow him, follow him, follow him. Come on, Chris. There you go. Go slow, go slow. There's an alligator headed. Come on, Chris. Come on. It looks like a small one, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a small one, but we're gonna get him in. Small. Look at that yeah, yeah, that's a smaller one. It's a decent size, maybe like a 40, 45 inch. You got the missing? Pushing 50. Yeah. Let's see. Right at 50. Mm. Right at 50. Yeah. Perfect. Like, oh. yeah, straight why, bone. That's why we use small hooks, so it's like you penetrate straight. Look at those teeth. Yeah. Crazy teeth. All right. All right, Chris, how do you feel? Warm up? Feels great. Accomplished. First gar. First gar. Yeah, first gar, first king, first all, first all the mangrove it's, snapping. It's been a crazy year this year. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Yep. Loosen the last one and use them all. Ooh. Go, go. All right, y'all, that is it for today. Crazy, crazy day. It was definitely better than last time. I was able to catch my first huge gar, 5'5". Five, five. Van got his first. It was, it, it, was, it was probably around the same size as Chris's uh, gar. What was Van again, 5'5"? Five, five? No. <laughs> it's like 50, no. I don't know, but. All I know is that we got the job done. Hopefully later on we can come back for some bigger gars, maybe an eight foot, seven foot. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all social media. Follow Chris on Instagram, off day underscore fishing. Follow that van, I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. Yeah. Links will be down in the description below. If you wanna buy yourself some glasses like the ones I have on, just go to waterlandco.com Use code GGANGLERS for 15% off, or you can just use the link in the description below. Till next time.